Hi there, this is Jonathan Ginsberg. I'd like to talk to you today about bankruptcy scams. And it sounds kind of silly to think that a scam artists would be targeting people who are about to file bankruptcy, because obviously if you're thinking about filing bankruptcy, you don't really have a lot of money. Uh, nevertheless, there's a big problem out there with scam artists. In particular, uh, the two areas I see most are, number one, uh, credit counseling agencies, some of these, these companies that say they, they have the secrets the credit card companies don't want you to know and they can settle your debts for pennies on the dollar, all this nonsense. Um, there are no secrets that credit card companies don't want you to know. Uh, you can settle debts, but I don't know, you need to pay somebody a lot of money to do it. And sometimes the fees that these companies charge are pretty outrageous. If you're going to try to do a negotiation, either do it on your own, uh, or use a legitimate uh, credit uh, management company like credit, Consumer Credit Counseling, something like that. But some of these for-profit agencies um, really questionable, and a lot of states' attorneys general are going after these companies for ripping people off. So if you are going to use one of these companies to settle debts, uh, look, do a Google search, look at your uh, state attorney general uh, website to see if there's any lawsuits or, or uh, warnings about them, because a lot of these companies are, are not legitimate. And they they charge a lot of money and don't do a whole heck of a lot. Uh, and again, there are no secrets the credit card companies don't want you to know. Um, everything is negotiable if that's the secret, that's what it is. Um, the second issue that I see uh, sometimes, it's not as prevalent as it used to be, but it does happen sometime, or the, or the, are the stop foreclosure scams. You know, in Georgia, foreclosure happens very quickly, literally within 37 days, I think is how fast it can happen. And so somebody gets a notice of foreclosure, um, that notice or that the, the fact that the person's in foreclosure becomes part of the public record, and there are list brokers out there who sell that information to anybody who wants to buy it. So uh, that's why you'll see bankruptcy lawyers send you letters, you'll see real estate investors sending you letters, and you'll have scam artists sending you letters. And the, the scam artist letters will say something like this, we can stop your foreclosure for $150 or $200 or $500, pick a number. And you, you call a number, it'll be a, a person's cell phone, and they have a P.O. box, and basically they'll say, pay us $250, we'll stop the foreclosure. And what they do is they will prepare uh, an emergency Chapter 13 petition, which is basically the, the bare bones petition, the first couple of pages, um, and they'll include on that the name and the address of the creditor, the lender, mortgage lender, but really nothing else. They'll, f they'll have you sign it and file it on your behalf. Uh, you know, with, they'll pay, get the filing fee from you, uh, file it on your behalf, and then they'll disappear. And so you may have paid the filing fee, which is about 300 bucks, and you may pay them $500 or $800 or something. So you may be out of pocket 1000 bucks, let's say. And you have a bankruptcy case number. You start getting these notices from bankruptcy court. You know, I didn't file bankruptcy. I don't know what this is all about. But what's happened is the scam artist has put you in bankruptcy. They've disappeared. Um, and now you have a bankruptcy in progress. And if you don't deal with it, if you don't go to the hearing, or whatever, it's going to get dismissed. And again, nothing really significant happens other than the case gets dismissed. You don't get calls from anybody. You think, okay, it just got dismissed, no big deal. Well, the problem is if you want to file a legitimate bankruptcy, this will be your second case or your third case. And the automatic stay may not go into effect right away. Or it may not go into effect at all. It may only last for 30 days. Or the court will look at this as your second or third filing and put it a under a lot more scrutiny. So if anybody uh, approaches you about stopping foreclosure by paying some money and they have you sign some forms that look like bankruptcy forms, be real, real careful and, and avoid those people. Um, there is a, a kind of an odd um, section of the bankruptcy code that says petition preparers can function to help people file bankruptcy, but I don't see how a petition, a petition preparer can really uh, get outside of the fact that they're practicing law without a license. So um, if you're going to file Chapter 13, call an attorney. Obviously, I hope it's me, but if it's not me, call a licensed attorney. But if you have a non-attorney start talking to you about Chapter 13 and you can do this and this will buy you some time, but just be very cautious. Golden rule, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. But there are scams out there and people willing to separate desperate folks from their money. Uh, you're much better off dealing with, uh, at least doing your research, at least in the start by talking to attorneys. Uh, most attorneys, myself included, will talk to you at no charge, uh, give you advice about how the bankruptcy process works. Uh, but when you deal with people that are dealing with cell phones and P.O. boxes uh, and, you, and, you, and you can't find them on Google and you don't know who they are, 
uh, th that's a real warning sign to stay away from those folks. And I've seen uh, way too many people ripped off, lose hundreds or thousands of dollars uh, trying to uh, save their home uh, when in fact they're just getting ripped off. So I hope this is helpful. I hope it's not happened to you. If for some reason it has, it may not be too late. Again, I've had a couple of cases where somebody's been put into a Chapter 13 by a scam artist, and we come in and we can take the case over and make it legitimate and make it work. Uh, so again, the sooner you can call for help, the better. And the first place to start would be with a legitimate bankruptcy attorney to see what we can do on your behalf. I uh, hope this has been helpful. Any questions about the bankruptcy process or about the foreclosure process, uh, call me. My number is 770-393-4985. Thanks a lot.